Uh, I'm the I'm a manager of uh, campaigning and advocacy in uh, Free Muse. I've just started the 26th of uh, August. I used to be the president of the Norwegian Filmmakers Association for 14 and a half years. And I've been on the board for the European uh, Federation for Film Directors for the last year, two, uh, four years, and will continue that for two more years. But the reason I was invited here was that uh, we made a, a universal periodic uh, review together with the um, Pan Catalan and Pan International. Um, Free News, um, we are in a pan organization advocating for defending freedom of artistic expression. Silencing opposing or less uh, preferred views and values by those in power uh, politically, relig uh, religiously or societally is at the ha heart of artistic freedom uh, violations. We addressed root causes rather than just sim uh, symptoms by holding violators accountable and exposing laws and policies that, that enable and sustain violations. Our approach is human right based through international legal frameworks and the principles of accountability, equality and non-discrimination and participation. We monitor and document violations of artistic freedom and levering evidence-based advocacy for systematic structural change. We work with partners, artists and activists to campaign for and support individual artists, facilitate and grow locally owned national coalitions. Exactly what, what we did with uh, uh, Pan Catalan. Since uh, the 2015 Universal Periodic Review on Spain, Freemius has observed a sharp increase in violations of freedom of artistic oppression in the country. Artists have become increasingly subjected to various uh, limitations on their expression, especially through censorship, detention and imprisonment. These violations have been facilitated by the 2015 law on public security and sections of the Spanish Criminal Code, alongside the social political environment that followed the 2017 referendum on Catalonian independence. The law on public security has introduced into a law of number of anti-terrorism measures that have en enabled Spanish authority to convict individuals, especially artists and journalists, for terrorism-related offenses. Es essentially, it means that artists can be held guilty for violating provisions of the law because of their song lyrics, comedy performances, as well as social media messages. The hardening environment for freedom of expression across Spain is ultimately characterized by the authorities limiting both access to free, uh, free create and experience art. Freemius are um, every year launching the state of artistic freedom. Uh, the first one came in 2018 and we have seen a systematic and uh, grow uh, in, in uh, the violations in Spain. We also launch uh, thematically reports. Uh, yesterday we presented, uh, pre-presented uh, the LGBTI reports uh, and uh, by the end of November we will launch the Europe reports, which again um, place Spain as the top violator uh, of artistic freedom in Europe. The SAF, the State of Artistic Freedom, highlighting a new uh, different angle on human rights situation in Spain that was not previously systematically, systematically elucidated. It caused shockwaves in various different uh, vernaculars in Spain, particularly with individuals working in Spain politics and organizations working in human rights. We took the statistic on Spain in our advocacy at the UN, which caused the same reaction as with politicians. Shock and concern at Spain being the lead violator of imprisoning musicians in the world. The statistics and infographics stating Spain at the top of the list were consequently shared by UN Special Rapporteur 
in the field of cultural rights and has been independently used by UNESCO officials and UN humanitarian rights representatives in their presentations to show that Europe is no absolved of serious human rights issues. Our engagement on Twitter grew exponenti <coughs> exponentially after high-profile Spain Spanish politicians shared our statistics on their profiles, often leading to thousands of retweets and likes on each tweet. The mainstream media also picked up the stories. Catalonian organizations, especially Omnium and ANC, reached out to Free News after the soft 2018 because the statistics and message messaging showed that Spanish authorities in negative manner so it was a tool to intensify the calls for independence. This continues with the SAF 2019 and our uh, research into Spain, now in the Europe reports. So when we saw the opportunity to write a UPR report on Spain, we were confident of the framework we were writing upon and that we could partner with Spanish Catalonian organizations to strengthen the message. Regarding the UPR reports, we received positive messages from partners in the field around the world congratulating us on the important research. Thank you.